To attract and, and retain the best people, it's very important to understand how people are alike and how people are different in terms of what is going to allow them to do their best work. Um, so for instance, um, I have four, four tendencies framework where I divide the whole world into four tendencies. And one tendency, it's a very small tendency, but are rebels. And rebels are people who they don't want to do what somebody else tells them. They want to do what they want to do in their own way. And a lot of times they can do great work. They can think outside the box. They're not worried about meeting other people's expectations. They often really love a challenge. Now, if you want to hire or retain a rebel, you have to understand very clearly that the way to get the best work out of that person is not to supervise. It's not to offer a lot of guidelines or suggestions. The way you attract a rebel's attention is you say, you're the one who has the chops to get this done. Here's your challenge. Blow me away and walk out the door and let the rebel meet that challenge in his or her own way. Now, with other people like obligers, they need a lot of accountability. They need deadlines. They need supervision. They need that sense of the, that someone's holding them accountable. That's how they do their best work. And so if you understand how people are alike and how they're different from each other, then you can understand how to speak to them in a way that's going to make them be attracted to the workplace, to think this is a place where I can, I'm going to be excited to come to work every day and also allow them to be productive when they're there. Because sometimes very different management styles are appropriate to people and, and you have to know how to speak their language if you want to reach them effectively.